Bart Poulton, and this video is to review the second online quiz for Lifespan Development, that's Psychology 1100, Chapter 8 on Middle Adulthood. The first question in the quiz is, much of the wrinkling of the skin associated with aging is caused by what? The body producing fewer uh, keratinocytes, the body producing fewer melan melanocytes, exposure to environmental chemicals, or exposure to ultraviolet rays. Well, um, according to our book, much of the wrinkling is associated with plain old UV, uh, exposure to ultraviolet rays. One more reason to uh, dress appropriately and see if you can cut down the UVs. Question number two, which is an example of a carcinogen? Um, certain viruses, hereditary factors, hormonal factors, or immune dysfunction. A carcinogen is something that causes cancer, uh, causes disease. And um, what we're looking for right here is just certain viruses can contribute to it. So um, the hereditary hormonal, uh, not the major factors that we're looking at here, uh, but a carcinogen could be a virus. Number three, what contributes to erectile disorder in men and inadequate lubrication in women? Fatigue, decreased progesterone, hypertension, or high cholesterol? Um, well, in this particular case, the answer is fatigue. You may recall from quiz one that we talked about one of the best ways for treating erectile dysfunction was simply with exercise. It's, it's not a matter of taking, you know, bee pollen or something like that. Just exercise seems to make a big difference. And that, of course, is going to affect fatigue as well. Number four. In the context of cognitive development, the fact that some aspects of intellectual functioning may improve while others remain stable or decline is, refers to, is referred to as A, reciprocity, B, multidirectionality, C, plasticity, or D, homeostasis. Well, um, when some things can go up, some stay flat, some go down, that is uh, multidirectionality. So things can go in different directions. That's pretty much the... Uh, Obvious one right there if you can at least break the word apart. Number five, 62 year old Elena visits her seven year old grandson, Miles. Miles asks his grandmother to play his new puzzle themed video game. Elena attempts the, to process the incoming puzzle pieces and place them in the correct slots, demonstrating the use of what? A controller. No. Uh, crystallized intelligence, emergent intelligence, fluid intelligence, or a surgeon's intelligence. Well, the answer in this case is going to be um, fluid intelligence because what we're looking at is the ability to process information. And again, um, processing speed, perception, uh, manipulation, that's going to be the big part. And so playing Tetris here is going to be an example of fluid intelligence. Question number six, which type of cognitive function appears to be most negatively affected in middle adulthood? So which one gets you know, the most worst? And uh, long-term memory, short-term memory, general knowledge, or procedural knowledge? Well, procedural knowledge tends to stay pretty put, and general knowledge doesn't decline very much. Long-term memory is kind of fixed, and so the answer here is short-term memory. So the ability to form new recent information, be able to recall it quickly, if that's going to be short-term, that's the one that shows the biggest decline in middle adulthood. Question number seven. Today, approximately what percent of post-secondary students, that means college students, are considered returning students? 0.7%, 1.7%, 17%, or 27%? I thought maybe they'd go to 107%. Um, so what percent of college students are grown-ups who are coming back to school? The answer is 17. It's about one in six. And it's going to vary tremendously from school to school. So for instance, at our school, UVU, I wouldn't be surprised if that percentage were higher. Um, and it's going to uh, the trend also changes over time. Okay, question number eight. Which personality trait contrasts talkativeness, assertiveness, and activity with silence, passivity, and reserve? The choices are extroversion, openness to experience, conscientiousness, or agreeableness. Well, being talkative versus quiet is going to be a good example of extroversion, uh, to which the opposite is introversion. And of the five personality factors that we usually talk about, again, there, there's extroversion slash introversion, openness to experience, um, neuroticism, and agreeableness. Um, extroversion and introversion is the only one that doesn't have a value judgment associated with it, and so people actually tend to be all over the place on that one. But these uh, personality traits are simply the, the two poles, extroversion and introversion. Question number nine. According to studies, women of which age group are most likely to accept jobs low in pay 
as long as they like the work. And the uh, this is ages, 16 to 21, 22 to 35, 36 to 49, or 50 to 62. Well, um, who's going to work for low money and, you know, probably be happy about it? Not surprisingly, it's going to be the oldest group here, 50 to 62. Um, other people are going to have very other goals. Um, this one is, it again, it's the, it's the reality check, the reality shot that comes with uh, growing up also, where people tend to be, seem to be content with things they went, might not have accepted before. All right, last one in this quiz, number 10. In many traditional societies, it is, it is assumed that when young adult children move out of their parents' homes, the children will what? Eventually ask the parents to move in, move back home when they have children of their own, assume complete financial responsibility for their parents, or D, live nearby rather than in another part of the country. So we're talking traditional societies, so it's not necessarily going to be the United States and uh, your own experience. But the answer here is live nearby rather than in another part of the country. Now, that's true for a lot of people around here. They still live very close to home, but I know a lot of families that get spread all over the country or all over the world. But in the more traditional societies, it's uh, more often the people stay uh, close. Anyhow, that is the end of the second online quiz for Chapter 8 on Middle Adulthood for Psychology 1100 Lifespan Development. Thanks.